Hello and thank you for taking the time to watch this microanalysis. My videos tend to be quite long and convoluted, so this is part of a series where I'm attempting to squeeze a whole examination of a film into three minutes. I'm not sure why three minutes, or even if it'll work, but I like the idea of the challenge. Of course the analysis is going to be oversimplified, but I'll do my best to make it worthwhile. Blind Shaft is a mainland Chinese drama that works almost like a socio-political parable, depicting two con artists who trick illegal coal mine owners into paying them compensations for the death of their so-called blood relatives in mining accidents. To do this, they falsify a relationship with an unsuspecting victim and murder them while staging a mine collapse, appearing as if the unsafe conditions of the mine caused his death, and fear of having their illegal mine exposed, the owners pay up. Their final target is a teenage boy, who despite being desperate, harbours a sense of optimism and childlike innocence. This causes one of the con artists to develop an empathetic relationship with him, and changes the duo's dynamics, forging the film's moral conflict. As the Chinese mainland entered the 21st century, unauthorised coal mines spread across the northern Shoshi province. Although China broke records with its economic performance, the coal mine related deaths totaled to at least 7,000 per year, a phenomenon the government seemed willing to tolerate as coal supplied 74% of China's energy needs in 2003. The film is often seen as a critique of China's entry into the capitalist market and the implications it was causing. Figuratively, the mines are ritualized spaces, where lives are sacrificed for money and social status. They represent a place of corruption, where the pursuit of greed is at the expense of humanity. The figurative space extends above ground too. This is shown in how the two men use their blood money to buy the services of prostitutes, which sustains China's illegal sex work industry. You could say that the mine shaft in many ways is a symbol of the commodification of human lives. The one con man begins to struggle reconciling this commodification with his recognition of the teenager's innocence. This therefore projects the mine shaft as an allegorical battlefield between innocence and guilt humanity and commodification, and life and death. Blind Shaft is the directorial debut of Li Yang, who was part of the sixth generation of Chinese filmmakers that emerged post-1990s. The filmmakers tended to focus on unromantic depictions of contemporary marginalised characters, and became prolific for their long takes and socio-political criticism. In the world of international film festivals, the sixth generation were considered to be the underground Chinese films. This was due to their taboo subject matters, production outside of the Chinese studio system, censorship conflicts, and illegal submissions and screenings outside of the mainland. Although it's officially recognised by China as a Chinese film, it was primarily funded by German sources, and post-production was done in Australia, Thailand, Hong Kong, and Germany, which allowed international film festivals to almost seduce Western audiences with the idea that the film depicts the secret Chinese society that the mainland didn't want the rest of the world to know about, and how Li Yang was an oppressed martyr for freedom of speech. How true was all of this? Well, that's up for debate. But politics aside, Blind Shaft lingers where realism, parable, and Greek tragedy go for brunch. A masterpiece, of course. <laughs> 